Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this picture in this drawing on Facebook, on Epilogue's Facebook page. And she wants it like this. And it's engraved all the lines away. So I actually asked, asked her for the file or asked them for the file. I'm going to quit saying gender because a lot of times I forget. And I found, and she hadn't even had time to reply yet, but I found the clip art almost identical. Well, it is identical. It only came in gray. It's got some lines in it, so you can't use it. But uh, you can use it. Anyway, uh, and I just went to Bitmap. I resampled it because it was only 100. I went to 300. I went to bitmap, I went to convert to bitmap, I went to black and white, I hit OK, turned to black and white. I traced bitmap, I went to outline trace, I clipped art. And it took just a few seconds. And it's done, but I upped the detail, I wanted more detail. Because it looked like it had taken away some lines. Then I hit OK, and if you look, the lines are there. So I'm just going to delete this one and delete this one. So there's our clip art and there's a there's a sign right there of white background with that box. So we'll draw a rectangle. We'll fill it with yellow and we'll put it at the back of the page. And you can see the, the white box. And to do that I just went to order back of page. I have a hotkey for it. We're going to click on it and we're going to go to a range and we're going to ungroup it and then we're going to take the white and take it away now there is still some white so there's a couple ways you could do this probably the easiest way would be to just clip on the click on the white and delete well we can't delete it it's it's actually a black background so but what we can do and i just noticed when i did it earlier i did lose that on his sleeves so I'm going to have to change this up a little bit. I did lose some of the, the um, definition there. But that's not a problem. So all the blacks are separated. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Edit, Find and Replace, Find Object, which I love to do, Begin New Search, Next, Find Fills, Uniform Fills, Next. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. Go to specify color, go on the color, get the eyedropper tool and click on the black. And then hit next, next, finish, find all. Yes, they were in a group, find all. X out and now we can move the black over. But you see how I've left some white or you might not be able to see it. But there, the white is back there. So what we're going to go is no fill, outline. And we have those little parts of black. Now these are broken apart. So I'm going to grab the, the black arm. And I'm going to nudge it over. I'm going to left click, right click. And now I'm going to use the smart fill tool. And now I have that detail. I'm going to put it back. You can see the arm this one has just two hash marks. I'm going to move it over. I'm going to left click, right click, smart fill tool, fill it in, move it back over. I don't really know where this hash mark goes. Let's see how important it is. Let's move it over. It's up in his face. Let's zoom in. Yeah, that could be a little be a little good to do but we don't it's not a problem we can move it back one two three no fill outline smart fill tool fill that in move it back i think there was one more white but i think we're really and it's right here let's see where it goes goes on his leg so let's move over there twice Move over there twice, left click, right click, smart fill tool, and move it back. Whoop. 
went too far. Then just delete all these outlines. Matter of fact, we can get rid of the yellow box for a second. Bring the yellow box back in. And now you can see that all this is going to engrave except for the yellow is going to stay constant. Now, I actually redrew her deal, but I don't think that's a problem. I think she's got, or they have that down pat. And then you would just group this together, control G. I've got a little, there's a little tidbit right there. I've got a little something in here because it's bigger than the deal. So go to range, group, ungroup object. I had a little bit of a, I call it noise, control G, and then put it in the center of the page. And this was very easy to draw, and yours are a little bit thicker. But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.